What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name's Pat. I'm a full-time reseller and this is my weekly what sold video. Now as usual, I have 10 items to share with you guys. These sales are going to be from the last week of January, which was the 24th to the 31st. So overall, pretty decent week. Had 55 sales for just under $1,377. First up, my best sale of last week, which was this vintage 1999 Star Trek tie-dye t-shirt. I got this in a mystery palette from Goodwill back in October. Paid about $2.80 for it. Took about three months to sell and it sold for $101.00. 25 cents with 4.95 shipping and after fees and shipping i made about 90 bucks if you watch my last haul video i found this vintage le creuset cast iron and enamel frying pan from goodwill paid about five bucks for it it took three days to sell and it sold for 79 dollars 95 cents with 14.99 shipping and after fees and shipping i made about 68 bucks and here we have a tommy bahama woman's hoodie shirt Paid about four bucks for this, took a few days to sell, and I took a best offer of 25 bucks plus 4.95 shipping. And after fees and shipping, I made about 20 bucks. So here's a really good brand to keep an eye out for. This is a Ralph Lauren double RL vintage button front shirt. Paid about four bucks for this, took about 11 months to sell because I had a price kind of high, but I ended up taking a best offer of $45 plus 4.95 shipping. And after fees and shipping, I made about 36 bucks. Next up is this Brooks Brothers stain resistant tie. Paid about two bucks for it, took four months to sell, and it sold for $16 plus $3.95 shipping. And after fees and shipping, I made about 13 bucks. And here we have another item out of the Goodwill Mystery Palette I bought last year. I paid about $2.80 for this. This is a new with tags, IZOD saltwater relaxed button front shirt. It's a really good size, 3XLT. Took about three months to sell, and it sold for $22 plus $4.95 shipping. And after fees and shipping, I made about 16 bucks. Next up, we have this authentic Pandora My Princess charm. Back in January of 2019, I bought a storage unit and I found a ton of bracelets and charms. I've sold off pretty much everything except for one that I have left. So this cost me pretty much nothing. Um, I've already like quadrupled my money on that unit. Um, I'll throw a link to that video down below so if you guys want to check that out. But this took about two years to sell and it sold for $22 with free shipping. And after fees and shipping, I made about 17 bucks. Next up is this model airplane kit, brand new sealed. This is an Artoplast 150th scale Fiat G55. Uh, when I found this, I didn't really have comps to go by, but it was only a buck, so I decided to take a gamble. It took about six months to sell, and it sold for $24.95 with free shipping. It was light enough that it went first class, and after fees and shipping, I made about 16 bucks. And here we have a lot of four vintage Olay soap bars. These are four ounces each. Paid about a buck for the four of them. Took about three months to sell and it sold for $14.98 with free shipping. They were kind of heavy, so they had to go in a padded flat rate. So after fees and shipping, I made about five bucks. We have this Halo 4 game for Xbox 360, brand new sealed. Paid about a buck for this, took three days to sell and it sold for $10.50 with free shipping. And after fees and shipping, I made about five bucks. So that is going to do it. Those are the 10 out of the 55 items I sold last week. Um, I tried to mix it up a little bit, show you guys some of the more expensive and some of the least expensive items, just to give you an idea of what actually sells throughout a week. Uh, not all of what I sell are home runs. A lot of the smaller items like 10, 15, 25 bucks, but that's just how it is. I think when you're a full-time reseller, unless you have access to really high-end stuff, it's kind of hard to get those home run like $100 items all the time. But you know, if you thrift a lot, you might get lucky. But hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, smash the like button and consider subscribing and I will see you guys next time.